In this video, I'm going to show you some of the places that you can go in order to get sample data sets to practice with. I'm going to show you my top six go-to places when it comes to looking for sample data sets. And I'm also going to show you what you can get out of it and why I use it in the first place. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. When you're working with Power BI reports and especially if you're a first timer, you need to understand that you need to first import your data or connect to your data in order to start building calculations, measures and visualizations. And if you already have data sets to play around with, that's great. However, if you don't have a data set, you most likely need to create your own one. And this could take some time. And having a sample data set pre-made for you to use really speeds up your work. So in this video, we're gonna go through my top sites that I go to when I need a sample data set in order to test some visuals or do demos for these videos. So the first place that you want to start is actually using these sample data sets provided by a company called Ovians.com in collaboration with Microsoft. So they created eight distinct sample data sets, reports, and dashboards to pretty much showcase what you can do in Power BI quickly and easily. So you can actually import them directly from your Power BI service without doing it in desktop at all. So when you go on your Power BI service here, for example, you click get data on the bottom left and under the samples, these are the sample dashboards that obvious.com provides you using Power BI. So it's a collection of data sets, reports, and dashboards that you can import really quickly into your workspace. So let's say you need to look at HR sample. So you just go to that one, hit connect. So you'll see that it generates us the dashboard, the report, and the data set showing what this dashboard actually contains. So if you look at one of these, for example, so this is the report that is pre-created for us. So doing this from the service allows you to preview reports quickly, but the goal of our video today is to get the actual data sets underneath this and importing the sample like this won't allow you to access the data set itself. Um, you'll see that if you want to download the PBX file where you'll be able to open this in your Power BI desktop, it's disabled. So what you actually want to do is go to the Microsoft documentation. I'll leave a link to this in the description box below. This is where you'll have access to the data sets or the actual source itself for all of these samples. So let's scroll down on this page. So you'll see that it gives you some original samples here where you can download the samples. So underneath here, we have the human resources sample, which is the reports uh, that we imported into our Power BI service. Let's click take a tour of the HR sample to navigate to that page. And it just gives you some information about what kind of insights this dashboard gives. So if you go here under get the sample, you'll see you have different ways for you to import this. So you'll be able to download it in a service. You can download the PBX file, which opens up a Power BI version, but on your Power BI desktop. So it lets you uh, play with the data set already preloaded into a Power BI report. Or you can actually just download the Excel workbook itself. So the data source that the uh, sample uses. So the next one is actually my favorite, which is the Northwind database. It's a fictional company created by Microsoft to simulate a company that sells goods internationally. Now I like this database because it's simple and it has enough data and dimensions to play around with. Another thing is that Northwind can be installed into a SQL database, which is where typically my data is stored in. If you follow the link in the description box below, it will take you to this GitHub page, where if you don't have it yet, it will give you instructions to install SQL Server here. 
So if you do have it already, you can just follow the instructions to run the script in order to create the Northwind data sets into your database. So I've just opened up SSMS, which is just a way for us to interact with our server. And this is how the Northwind database looks like in SQL. So you'll see on the left hand side here, we have a bunch of these tables that you can use in order to create some dashboards and reports. Uh, you have some views to play around with. So here I've just opened up the customers table, which just gives us information about all the individual customers of Northwind. And this is great to work with because this format actually follows best practices. So it gives you a good feel for what is a good data set to work with. The next one that you can use is the Data Playground by Maven Analytics. So I found this site towards the end of last year and I found it to be really great if you're looking for unique data sets to work with. So you can click on any of these data sets um, which will give you uh, some information about what the data set contains. You're able to sort of preview the data to see what kind of data it has inside. And lastly, you can download it. So CSV, JSON, and then import it into Power BI for you to use in your data set. And by the way, if you don't know how to import your data into your Power BI reports, it's actually very simple. I covered it on a video in the past. So go check that out if you have it yet. The next one is a bit more personal and close to home. It's the London data store. So if you live in London or you're interested in London statistics, you can go to this site, which will give you various stats about London uh, from COVID related data to crime rates for different borrowers to housing prices. I actually used it as my data set for one of my first videos on YouTube. And I created that report to find out which borrowers are the safest to live in. So in order to access the data sets, you go to the main site here, you go to data. And then from here, you can choose the topic that you want to search for. So in this case, uh, let's say we want to look at uh, environment. That filters the data sets that you can download into just the environment topics. And then you can even filter it by the formats of the data sets. So let's say we're just looking for spreadsheet type data sets. Uh, let's say we want to look at the reservoir levels. If you click on that, uh, the same as with Maven Analytics, you're able to preview what that data set looks like. If uh, there is not a lot of data in there, you can have a preview here. And if you think that this is the data that you want, you can simply just download it and then import it into your Power BI report. The next one is Kaggle. Now here you can find tons of user created data sets to play with. You can filter the type of data sets you want to download. You can see the popular data sets that people use. And if you click on any of them, it will give you some context and information about those data sets. You're able to see the preview of that data set. And then finally, you can download it for yourself uh, if you want to import it into your Power BI report. And lastly, one of my favorites is mockeroo.com. Now, this site has been my go-to site when it comes to generating fake data sets out of thin air. Basically, all you need to do is define the fields that you want in your data sets. So let's say we want uh, ID, first name, last name, so uh, employee information. You can add as many as you want um, and you can choose the different type of information that you want on those fields. So let's say we want just a date there. So we'll just name this one date of birth. And let's say you're happy with this data set. You can simply just preview it to see how it will look like. And if you're happy with this format and if you're happy with your data sets, you can simply just download it. This site is great when you want to keep things super simple, but still want fake data filled into your columns. However, there is a limit of a thousand entries for the free version, which is more than enough in most of my cases. And that's really it for this video. I hope these sites will help you get some sample data sets for you to play around with when you're working with Power BI reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.